Hey, one more thing before you go. What happens when you put an American football coach from Kansas in the middle of an English football team, as in soccer, in a foreign country such as the United Kingdom, throw in an egomaniac, a silent Bob type, a team owner that's a smart, beautiful, strong woman with a brilliant group of teammates? Why, you get Ted Lasso. Stay tuned. Diane and I will be right back with that, where we are going to share with you our favorite Friday night guilty pleasure. Welcome back. Ted Lasso is an American comedy television series currently streaming as an original on Apple TV+. It was born from and developed by Jason Sudeikis. It's also produced by Jason himself, Bill Lawrence, Brendan Hunt, and Joe Kelly. The series is based on a character of the same name that Sudeikis first portrayed in a series of promos for NBC Sports coverage of the Premier League back in 2013. That's an English soccer team, by the way. So, Diane and I are going to talk to you about our favorite Friday night pleasure. Welcome to the co-host seat, Diane. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Let's talk some Ted Lasso. Yes, please. So what did you think? For example, I, I should say, wait a minute. I, I, should re, I should rephrase this. Why don't you tell everybody why this is our Friday night guilty pleasure? I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure i mean it's um it's a show that everyone should watch period it is one of the few shows um and i'm a tv addict as we've talked about in the other episode <clears throat> uh there are a few shows that i watch that genuinely make me feel warm and fuzzy when it's done um friends was one of them one of the few that I can even think of. And I don't think there's really been one since. Um, Ted Lasso is full of so many emotions in each episode. You, you go, you run the gamut of every emotion and everybody, it, it's a family and it's, and it's the relationships between the characters are so dynamic and real that you feel like you're right there in it with them. Oh, I agree 100%. It's one of those things that uh, it takes you on a journey each week and you kind of get involved in it and and uh, kind of in depth with it. And uh, we're not the only people that agree with that. Uh, they were nom nominated for somewhere around 20 Emmys from writing to acting to uh, set design to directing to producing. Um, they've got a number of Golden Globe Awards, Writers Guild of America Awards, Critics Choice mm -hmm. Awards, Screen Actors Guild Awards, all in 2021 for Best Actor, Producing, Supporting, Actress, Best New Series. The list goes on and on and on. There's too big casting. for me to even talk about. Um, yeah. Casting. Oh, casting. Even casting. Yeah, because it's a brilliant cast that's put oh. together. It's something that everybody should kind of check out and, and mm -hmm. at least... Um, hopefully by the time you get done with this, you will, you will be, you'll become part of the Ted Lasso family. Yes, please. <laughs> so just a quick bit of trivia. Um, I know that we had, uh, um, thought we'd share a little bit with you and with everybody else, but, uh, I know that I had said earlier that the series is based on a character of the same name that Sudeikis first portrayed in a series of promos for NBC Sports. They were covering their Premier League um, out of England uh, back in 2013, and they kind of brought him on to create this lovable coach character, but he, he was more of a kind of a doofishy, doofusy, if that's a good word, <laughs> uh, way of saying it. Um, and I believe that he touched upon the same character in a different form on SNL. If you guys uh, are SNL fans, you'll remember he was a coach on there with short, short, Short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he was out to dinner one night with uh, around 2015, I think it was. And he was talking to Olivia Wilde, 
who he was in a relationship at the time, and they were talking about how that character um, could could build into something more um, because he felt that there was something more than just the the little bit bits that he had done on uh, the promo in on SNL. So Olivia encouraged him to explore whether Ted Lasso could be more than just a bit on NBC. And uh, it was that night at that dinner when Olivia said, you should do it as a show. He then developed and pitched the series uh, with the setup, Ted Lasso in England, far from family, a stranger in a strange place, and learning a strange game. Apple bought it. And thank goodness. Absolutely. So <laughs> the integral part of this whole thing, I think, and from my perspective, is, you know, most people know, uh, from my listeners at least, and you know this, you know, um, I believe uh, from a directing point of view, from a producing point of view, from from a screenwriting point of view, okay, casting and characters are key to a story and moving it forward in the right way to help you get immersed in that story um, yeah. and bring you along with yeah. them. So let's talk about characters. Okay. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Well, Ted, obviously. I mean, he's um, he's central to all the other characters and how they uh, change over time. They, uh, a lot of them you'll find, or people will find that they start out one way and by season two, they're almost a completely different person in, in a good way, but it's fun, really fun to watch that journey take place and how Ted actually influences those changes without even, well, maybe sometimes he realizes it. Sometimes, especially with the players, um, you know, his team that he's coaching, obviously he knows that he's influencing them. Um, but the people around him, his boss and the other people that work there, um, you know, I don't think half the time he really thought he was trying to influence them in any way, but he did. And it's just, it's heartwarming and um, it kind of makes you, well, not only do you want to be his friend, but you kind of want to be him. Like you want to be, you want to embody those qualities that he portrays. I agree with that. Um, and, and, you know, when you stop and look at the characters, I, mean, I had mentioned this earlier, um, but I think to get, can I give people a more kind of an in-depth uh, aspect of some of the characters, um, Jason Sudeikis, he's an American college football coach who led the Wichita State Shockers to a Division II National Collegiate Athletic Association Championship. He's hired to coach an English soccer team in an attempt by its new owner, Rebecca Welton. She's played by Hannah Waddingham, brilliant lady. She's got a fantastic singing voice, um, and, and she's key to this whole thing. Uh, she's her. a newly divorced woman, despite her ex-husband, um, because he... That was his favorite thing. This team was his thing. So she got the team in the divorce settlement. So she thought she was going to ruin it by hiring this bumbling idiot, unsophisticated kind of hillbilly. And it turns out that he's smarter than what everybody thinks. Mm -hmm. And he's more lovable than what everybody thinks. So even though they, she thinks that he's unsophisticated and he's kind of hillbilly, um, it turns out he really isn't. Uh, nope. and, and the other characters, um, Brandon Hunt, Stephen... Manus, Jeremy Swift, Phil Dunster, Brett Goldstein, Nick Muhammad, Juno Temple is a brilliant ensemble cast that brings it all together in order to make this work in such a, a positive way. That's mm -hmm. why I really have a hard time picking a favorite in characters mm -hmm. because each one of those I just named off um, all have well, really unique aspects that they bring to the show and without them, it wouldn't work. Right, and you know, just... Just a side note, those were the names of the actors, not necessarily the characters, but yeah. I mean, I think every episode, I might have a new favorite depending on what happened in the episode. But that being said, a running theme for me is Roy Kent, played by <laughs> Brett uh, Goldstein. Oh, my God. I love him. Oh, uh, yeah. Roy, Roy Kent is uh, just for oh. everybody's information, if you have small children, you need yeah. to be careful in watching 
Ted Lasso because there is some flavorful language. Um, <laughs> very salty, especially very with salty Roy. Very salty, and uh, although they shoot in England, and uh, sometimes the Brits have another way of saying things, uh, Roy Kent doesn't pull any punches. <laughs> nope. You kind of know he what, he's, like what he is. means. Yeah, he says um, it like it is. He's... <clears throat> I think he's the first character I can remember watching in any show that is so hard on the outside, like just hard. He hates everyone. He hates the world. But inside... But, but at the same time, he loves the world. Yeah. Well, you find that out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But he... Because I think he takes a journey as well. I think he was always like this. But he never admitted it. And as the journey unfolds, he starts to admit it and he starts to show it more that he is the biggest teddy bear. Oh, I just love him. Yeah, I agree. I, love I, him. I mean, if, if you want to count them like in numbers, and you want to rank them. It's very difficult to rank because they come in a very, very close. It's one of those yeah. close call too close to count almost. Mm hmm. Because yeah. each one of those individuals that I named are my top favorites. Now, keep in mind that there's a cast, a complete ensemble cast of about 30 or 40 people yeah. within this. And every soccer player out there that's on the field and part of that team and interacts, from, my, from what I've learned, every one of those individuals has played soccer. Whether mm -hmm. it be uh, growing up with it and or playing it semi-professionally or professionally. Mm -hmm. And some of the writers have done the same thing. So you get... Um, a deep love of the game of football, English yeah. football, soccer, without, um, with, without, I won't say the, the, the Hollywood interjection of what people would think the game is. Y you actually get it from the individuals yeah. that played it. Yeah. And, and they don't, for those of you who maybe aren't sports people, like we're not really sports people. We do watch soccer sometimes anyway, but it's not. When we first started watching, when we were first talking about watching the show, I really thought that we were going to see a lot of soccer. And I thought, I mean, how good can that be? I mean, soccer's great, but only in small doses. But really, maybe every other episode you might see part of a game it's it's more oh, about the, it's more about the coaching and the practicing and the relationships and mm -hmm. they bring you on a journey each week i mean it's a brilliant yeah. it's a brilliant concept it's a brilliant jason sudeikis and brendan hunt everybody that brought this together bill lawrence the the whole everybody that brought, mm -hmm. we need to thank you uh, yes. for bringing us this gem i mean it's it's a gem. That's all we well, can Well, every, everyone on it, behind the scenes, uh, anyone who touches the show deserves all the awards. Every one of them. I don't even know if I'm going to root for any other shows during the Emmys. Or... <laughs> well, there, there are a couple more we watch, but this is like, I think, on and, and there are And there are others we love. We do love other shows. But, oh, my God. I just feel... I mean, every week I, I either I cry and I laugh and I mean, literally belly laugh every episode. But at the same time, in the same episode, you can be bawling your eyes out. Well, without giving anything away, what's your favorite episode? Oh, the Christmas episode. Oh, you know, the Christmas it's episode just... was kind of a, I mean, it was a heartwarming, <laughs> wrenching, brilliant piece of work brilliant brilliant brilliantly written the whole series is but that episode yeah i don't even want to give anything away you have to see it i have to but agree you, you you have to see all of them leading up to that or it's not going to mean as much yeah and i i mean again you know you, you've got and i said this earlier and, and diane said the same thing if you haven't watched this yet you need to go back and start watching it and start don't cheat Mm -hmm. Started the pilot and moved through season one. There's only ten episodes. It uh, aired August 2020. Um, watch those; they're available on Apple Plus. Watch them so that you get a good feeling for everything and know how everything kind of intricately, intricately is, is pieced together. 
intricately yeah. In, <laughs> intrinsically how they're all pieced together i don't know <laughs> like a puzzle um you got to you've got to know this in order before you move to you know to season two that will bring you to season two and then once you're on season two the you know the, the thing that i the thing that i wish was different is the fact that yes it's a comedy drama sports show it's a comedy drama sports show we love soccer. Our kids grew up with soccer. I grew up with soccer. So I'm, uh, you know, of course, I'm American. I say soccer, but I grew up with uh, English football, European football. Um, th the thing that that bothers me, the only thing that bothers me about this is that they, they each week is only 30 minutes. You know, 35. And, and that 30, 35 minutes, I think, might, might go 35 minutes, but I think 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is is... Come on, <laughs> give me more. I know when it's over, I'm so sad when it's over. And I'm just like, I'm like, I think every week I'm like, oh, what, what it's done. No, come on. I mean, I could watch two and a half hours of the show every week and be perfectly happy. Oh, I, absolutely. 100%. So why do you think um, Ted Lasso resonates with us and millions of other people every Friday night? Just like that, like we just talked about. Well, first, it's it's his Tedisms, which I'm not going to quote because I'll mess it up bad badly. Um, but his philosophies of life, if if you get nothing else from that from the show, you'll learn a lot just through his Tedisms. They're marvelous. Um, but I think that it 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 shows you. And apparently, um, some of the some of the research we did, sh they were talking about social media right. um, that blows up every Friday. Um, which I have to admit, I'm not really a social media. I'm on Facebook, and that's about it. So I don't get out there, and I don't tweet about stuff a lot. I should, but um, apparently, social media, Twitter, just blows up, and many many people around the world that watch the show feel like it has actually affected society in a way that we can understand, which we should already know intrinsically understand that how to treat people, but it shows everyone kind of an easier way, I guess. Of, yeah. It really proves how to treat other people and how to relate to others and how you can affect others. I would say 100%. You know, you, um, it, it, uh, and, and uh, no, we have no affiliation with the show. No, um, we just, we don't love, get paid. <laughs> we don't get paid. <laughs> we, should, we just get paid in entertainment. We and get paid in entertainment. Um, and but we, emotions. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's like a, it's like we're part of the family. You know, they don't, mm -hmm. it, it, some of these, well, it's like for, we go back to friends when you said that earlier. Um, I cannot remember a show that brought me along so well since friends yeah. that well i mean i watch swat and i watch seal team and i watch all these other programs ncis for years mm -hmm. and you know ncis it's kind of a difference that's, that's pretty close as far yeah, as pretty close bringing you, you know, along and family killing. because yeah. you know i followed that family for probably 19 years now going 18 years right. 19 years whatever the seasons are right so but it's it's a different kind of feeling it's just a it different is. kind of feeling it is um, and realistically, uh, again, I have to thank personally, you know, I have to thank everybody the the Ted, uh, not Ted, well, Ted Lasso, I need to thank him, Jason <laughs> Sudeikis and Hannah Waddingham and Brandon Hunt and Stephen Manis and Jeremy Swift and Phil Dunster and Brett Goldstein and Nick Muhammad and Juno Temple and, and everybody that is part of this. I have to thank each and every one of you from my perspective um, mm -hmm. because what you bring to our household every Friday night, it makes us feel good throughout the weekend, other mm -hmm. than the fact that uh, it's over too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it would. Be, oh, and I just, I dare all of you, if you have not started watching it, you will be hooked by at least the third episode. Well, and, episode and three, they do have some you'll bonus you'll stuff. And I would recommend, with the bonus stuff, um, I would recommend that you don't sneak peek that until uh, maybe after season one. Yeah. So that you, you understand what the bonus stuff means and what it comes from and where it comes from. Because if you watch it first, you're not going to kind of get it. You won't get mm -hmm. it the way you should get it. So, you know, yeah. you kind of, you just have to, um, 
you have to watch the bonus stuff after after season yep. one. So watch season one. If you are a fan, um, and I'm going to put this out there now, I'll put it out it again. If you're a fan of this show and you 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 listen to our commentary, if you got input, whether it be positive or negative, please yeah. don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me, Michael at one more thing before you go dot com. That's Michael M I C H A E L at one more thing before you go dot com. And I'd love to hear from you. And, uh, you know, we can uh, maybe one of these other weekends, uh, Friday nights that come up, uh, I'll be glad to, to talk about what you want to talk about and mm-hmm. see whether or not you agree with us, if you don't agree with us, or whatever the case may be. I, so, I would be very shocked if somebody um, had anything negative to say about it, but there, that could happen. And that's I fine. I will defend it with my life. Diane, this is... One more thing before you go. So is there anything that you'd like to say in regard to Ted Lasso and this fantastic cast and crew that would help encourage people to go visit Ted Lasso? I just need to say thank you to the show, first of all, for what they do and what they bring to us. And if you haven't started watching it, please do. You you won't regret it. And that, you know, I think it just shows us as a society that we can take care of one another which is so important right now. And uh, I just hope that's what everyone can get out of it. I think that's outstanding. I agree 100%. Ted Lasso can be found only on Apple TV+. Plus. comes on Friday nights. Uh, they're into their second season at the moment. So if you're going to watch it, we recommend that you go back and start at the season one at uh, episode one. And that kind of gives you a better idea. Once you get past episode one, or excuse me, past season one, there are some uh, bonus, like bloopers and bonus uh, content that you really need to explore. It might give you a better understanding of some of the characters and where they come from. Actually, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So you can tune in and catch up on what you missed, and hopefully you can join the family and be there each week with us as we get enthralled by this brilliant cast, crew, and the writing team. So, again... Thank you very much for listening to One More Thing Before You Go. This has been Over the Teacup Session Friday Night Special, and we appreciate you each and every time that you visit us. So don't forget to download our free app, either in the App Store or on the Google Play. It's also free. You have to register for an account on the app, but that's free. You keep hearing the word free, but free is good. We've got some great episodes coming up in the next few weeks. We post normally on Wednesdays, with a bonus episode on Friday of some type. So please, listen to us here on YouTube, follow us, um, subscribe to us, again, free. You can hear us on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon, or your favorite listening platform. You can leave us a comment, leave us a review, have a suggestion, you can find the links in the bio. We appreciate you. Thank you for supporting us, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening to this episode of One More Thing Before You Go, a unique conversation about life. If you like our show and want to know more, check out our website at beforeyougopodcast.com. That's beforeyougopodcast.com. Tell your story, share your expertise, contribute to the blog, and subscribe to the newsletter. You can find us as well as subscribe to the program and rate us on your favorite podcast listening platform. And one more thing before you go. Have a nice day, have a nice week, and thanks for listening. One More Thing Before You Go, a unique conversation about life podcast, is a creation of One More Thing Productions, established 2010, all rights reserved.